Hello, buddy. Top Football Channel is here again. Recently, more female referees have appeared in our number one game. However, the criticism of female referees has always been a hot topic for the fans. Today, we will tell you about five cases in which female referees were mocked because of their gender. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Now, we're about to start. Wendy Toms was the name of the first woman to be assigned to serve in a top match in the English Premier League. In the 1995-96 season, she worked as a linesman and a reserve referee. And, of course, there were many questions about her decisions. From the first matches of Wendy in the Premier League, the public mocked her figure and refereeing. Disgruntled fans liked to repeat that a book with football rules is more difficult than a cookbook. Being under pressure, Toms didn't always manage to show good refereeing skills. But among women, she was the first to accept such a huge challenge by herself. Either way, Wendy deserves credit for her courage. The name Bibiana Steinhaus is familiar not just for the fans of women's football. She is not only the first female referee in the history of the Bundesliga, but also the captain of the Hanover Police. Although this occupation of Bibiana has never prevented the players from flirting with her right on the pitch. Steinhaus often fell victim to jokes from football players, but didn't allow herself to be treated with arrogance. Once, the emotional character of Pep Guardiola also decided to make friends and chat up the German woman. But she didn't accept the Spaniard's intentions and threatened him with disqualification. Anyway, Bibiana perfectly controlled the discipline at matches and thanks to that, she was noted as the best referee in Germany from 2007 to 2010. Oh yes, friends, four times in a row. This is definitely no coincidence. Well, in September this year, she is currently retired and is now dating the former English referee, Howard Webb. In 2011, Shan Massey Ellis was entrusted to serve as referee in the match between Wolverhampton and Liverpool in the English Premier League. Before the starting whistle, Sky Sports commentators Andy Gray, Andy Burton and Richard Keyes made fun of her in every possible way, but forgot that their microphones were not turned off. The trio allowed themselves to make very ugly jokes. For example, while criticising Massey Ellis, Keyes said, Someone go down to the pitch and explain to her what offside is. At the same time, TV viewers heard everything the commentators had said. Despite the words of Gray, Burton and Keyes, the lineswoman worked flawlessly and even counted the controversial goal of Fernando Torres with confidence. All three commentators were later fired for their lack of professionalism. And in 2014, each of them apologised. But Massey Ellis continues to work even now in the Premier League. Haters? Where are you anyway? In 2016, in the fourth division of Argentina, Deportivo Merlo and Argentino de Chialme met. The match was extremely tense, as the chief referee took two goals from Deportivo at once and Kelme eventually won with a score of 2-1. In one of the incidents of the meeting, angry Deportivo players surrounded the referee, demanding he cancel the goal they just conceded. In that moment, 
a scuffle ensued. The assistant lineswoman, Maria Eugenia Rocco, came to help the referee. The players didn't want to calm down, so after a few seconds, forward Emmanuel Francis lost control and hit the girl in the back of the head with the ball. I couldn't believe that a footballer could behave like this. After the attack on me, he ran away and hid in the crowd of his team's players, commented Rocco on the incident. After a thorough investigation of this scandal, the Argentinian Football Association disqualified the aggressive striker for 22 matches for attacking the linesman. Hey, Maria just wanted to help a colleague. Such an unacceptable action by Francis. Mirce Lucescu is one of the most titled coaches in the history of football, but can't be called a role model of tolerance. In 2011, after the home match between Shakhtar Donetsk and Karpato Lviv, the Romanian coach accused side referee Natalia Racinskaya of poor work. Moreover, Lucescu affected not only the professional qualities of the woman. It is very sad that the linesmen make mistakes. In this game, it was a woman on the sideline. I wouldn't appoint women to matches because of them being sentimental. Perhaps because of their emotions, they start helping one of the teams a little bit more, said Mirce. After that, Lucescu was harshly criticized in the media and social networks, calling him a sexist. So at the next meeting with Rachinskaya, the coach apologized praised her for her good refereeing and presented a bouquet of roses. We can admit that he corrected his behaviour beautifully. Friends, a little bonus for today's video. Just look at these female referees. Well, how can someone offend such beautiful women? Friends, do you want female referees to accompany the matches of the top European championships and in European competitions? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to Top Football Channel. Thank you for watching and supporting us. See you soon. Bye bye.